Alright, what is up guys? Dan Band here bringing you another Pokemon Battle in Showdown. Uh, today is a special day. Uh, no, I don't like to be that one person, but, uh, you know, it always points out things like this, but, you know, I feel like it should have mattered, right, guys? Today is my birthday, so, uh, just feel free if you want, just drop me a happy birthday. No? Yeah. So, uh, anyways, I have a battle here in the UU tier. As always, uh, I had to make a few changes to my team because, uh, uh, two of my team members got uh, moved up to BL. That, been, uh, that was Haxorus and uh, Halucha. And I can see why. Halucha is a really good Pokemon. Uh, he's uh, Once he gets that Unburdened boost, he's pretty destructive. And Haxorus just has too much power and he just muscles through walls and stuff. You know, I guess it was kind of hard to check. And I heard there was other things that moved up. So, uh, actually one of them I believe was Magnezone. And thank god he's gone. He was so hard to check. I had like no switch-ins. Like I had no idea what to do when one came in. So yeah, that's besides the point. I had to put in new members on my team. <laughs> and as I talk about Magnezone being hard, one of the new members is one of my favorite Pokemon. No, I just love fire Pokemon, guys. They're, it's one of my favorite typings next to fire and electric. So I had to put a Victini back on my team, and for good reason. Because uh, you're going to see his ability, Victory Star, I believe it's called, works really well with uh, Galvantula him and his uh, Thunders. I believe it increases the accuracy. So I'm going to be hitting more Thunders, and you're going to see that's really important. And the other new member is, uh, what's his name? Scraggy? Scrafty? I believe it's Scrafty. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start the battle off here. I believe they reset the ladder, so uh, yeah. I'm going to lead off with Spartacus, because I predict him to start off with either... No, with Amber Palm. Yeah, I was predicting the stuff with Amber Palm. Because, you know, he was going to do that fake out shenanigans. And I was like, yeah, if he does that, uh, he really can't. So, uh, I know if I'm guaranteed at least one sort of dance, but he leaves off with his Uxie here. And I'm thinking, you're probably going to set up hazards or something. You, there's nothing you can really do to touch me. So, that that's the case. So, I'm going to be able to set up one sort of dance here. And, uh, I guess he wants to get on out of there. And I'm like, nobody, you're pro you, there's nothing you can do. I'm going for another Swords Dance. So he goes for the Pursuit thinking I'm going to get out of there. But uh, no, dude. That is two Swords Dances I would have been wasting. So I just go for the Sacred Sword and completely wreck him. As he goes into his Darmanitan next and I'm like, I just want damage on this. You are scary. So he goes for the Fire Punch and I was like, what? What Darmanitan carries Fire Punch? You are not a man, sir. You need to be carrying that Flare Blitz and just hit everything freakishly hard. But, you know, I guess that like, Fire Punch works out for him because, look, he lives and, you know, what the hell, bro? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, it really doesn't matter because uh, you're going to see later. So I go into Wild Turtle here, hoping for the Rapid Spin kill, but, you know, that's not the case as he goes into his Oxy here. As I go for the Rapid Spin, getting rid of the rocks because... I wanted things to get in safely. I have two things weak to rock on this team. Two very crucial members, actually. So I'm just gonna fire off Dark Pulses now. As he set up the screen, I'm just like, this is annoying. So uh, he's taking those Dark Pulses very well. So he goes into his Dusk Ops now, which is pretty, I thought, weird, but uh, he takes it pretty well. I mean, Dusk Ops are pretty bulky. So I'm firing off two now. And I'm thinking, uh, you know, the. Th Third one, these both did 33%. Maybe the next one will kill him? Nah. Nope. So he goes for the pain split, and, which is a really good play on his part because now Blastoise is just kind of. Yeah. It's pretty low down there. So I was I was gonna fodder it off, but now that I saw that he brought his Empoleon, uh, Empoleon in, I was gonna save Blastoise for Death Power and go into Mac Miller. Who the fuck is Mac Miller? So he goes in and does the hidden power and I'm actually really curious what that was because it did nothing <laughs> it just did nothing so he goes for the skull I, I don't get the burn and I go for the knockoff predicting him to get on out of there but you know what he doesn't so uh yeah I go for the drain punch now thinking he'll stay in but no nah. he goes into his fortress which is pretty good because I have nothing to hit this with now because that drain punch did nothing so I get on out of there and go on a space jam the Victini and he's like setting up his hazards now and I'm like bro bro you about to get dunked you about to get dunked what, what are you doing staying in <laughs> yeah I hit v create of course I hit v create no one on your team wants to take a v create 
So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna keep hitting V create. This is a scarf Victini, by the way, guys, because I hear they all are scarf. So uh, you know, I love my scarves. So uh, he goes into Zimpolia now, and he lives with one HP after taking a V create, and he's just gonna go for the Scald here. I mean, I was not taking the Scald. I mean, I'm at minus two to special defense or defense, so whatever that scales off of. So yeah, now I take this as the per perfect opportunity to go into Kawaii Desu. So uh, <laughs> I go for the Thunder, I'm like, what the hell? I missed. I mean, does Victini have to be alive for Victory Star to work? I don't know. So uh, he's gonna go for the burn as I hit my first Thunder. And uh, I'm like, yeah, your team's done. Even though I got a timer on me, nothing wants to come in on a Thunder. It's all based on luck now, if I can hit these thunders or not. So he goes into his Empoleon to sack it, which, you know, was the point. And now he goes into his Darmanitan, and no! Oh, let me give you a Japanese lesson really quick. Kawaii, <laughs> like the, the reasoning behind this name, Kawaii, is uh, cute in Japanese. Kawaii, which is uh, often uh, misconstrued a lot, is uh, scary. <laughs> I think I should rename this right now because Galvantula looking real scary right now, hitting every possible thunder it can, not letting me down at all. Galvantula is a beast. I mean, look at him. What a champ. To think a spider would be one of my favorite Pokemon in the game. I mean, it's a great Pokemon, guys. Uh, yeah, I really love this team right now. I might change Blastoise. So, uh, like, I need a real physical wall, something to take physical hits re pretty well. And, uh, yeah, I might change up Blast Choice, I don't know. But, yeah, that was the battle, guys. I'm gonna definitely start to climb the ladder up with this team, because I believe they reset it. And I really like how this just kind of fell together, because, you know, with Victini, I got in Valentula and stuff like that. But, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. You know, feel free to wish me happy birthday, because birthdays are cool. So yeah, uh, peace out guys, I'll talk to you later.